We are the new generation, a chosen people, who refuse to see your fatherland get to the land of no repair. We are the economic, social and political messiah. We are a chosen breed. We are excellent network. Bringing to you DP Deporter. We believe ideas are martyrs. Right on the shores of West Africa, somewhere in the Middle Belt, amazingly somewhere not too far from you and I, lies DP Poultry, a place where nature is clearly and tangibly explained. You will still be on point if you say it is nature and its future has been manipulated to befit man's daily existence. Imagine the very ground we walk upon has been translated into objects beyond structured aesthetics, but also of great motivation and deep wisdom. This man has been able to domesticate nature and all it holds around him. Call it yet a tale of the gifted hand and you won't be far from right. TP Poetry is located along Abuja Kaduna Expressway before the toll gate of Tafa local government area of Niger State. This befitting monument has every sense of nature availably utilized. From the entrance, you stand to be blown away by the display of various artistic finishings. It is a place where every plant, trees, plays a vital role, ranging from providing shade, serving medicinal purposes, and lots more. Surmise to say that he has channeled his entire creative energy more towards self-reliance, banking less on wild color jobs. With little or no support from the government, he has a dream to transform DP Poultry into a world-class tourist center to attract people from all over the world. He also possesses this architectural ingenuity, which is bespoken in the designing of his own house, from the foundation to the roofing. This house is really an existing monument to be reckoned with. Leading us himself into this well creatively constructed building, we were amazed to see that all the finishings and furnishings, even though not completed, are all molded and indigenously designed. Welcoming us into his home is the tree of argument, a thought-provoking, wisdom-inducing art molded on the wall of the entrance. Well, in the true sense, how many can tell which of the trees existing today was the forbidden tree in the Garden of Eden? Well, your answer is the same as mine. Little wonder this tree is called the Tree of Argument. From the Tree of Argument leads us to an underground sitting room. Amazed? Yeah, I thought as much. The sitting room is right underground with some display of artworks, which he said were made by his children. Wow, you would say. The tour around the house was an evidence that there's much more to man than just what the eye can see. For every corner of his house, there is a proposed design for it. We moved to the workshop where he exhibited his real creativity to us. The ground is just not enough to be worked upon. It can also be used for many other things. It's surprising to know that the raw material which he uses, the clay, is gotten from his very environment. DP Pottery is not just a beautiful, attractive place, but also a fruitful, rich soil. All he needs to do is to walk out of his house, pick up the clay, and the rest follows. We see him needing the clay to produce a perfect elasticity for the potter's kick wheel, where the clay is translated into a useful object. Amazingly, the potter's kick wheel was constructed by him in 1995, yet another expression of his ingenuity. Impractical, as the wheel spins, the clay is molded using his hands, which provides a desired heat for the clay, into a desired shape. The clay in turn responds to the movement of his hands as he says, Clay cannot be behaved in a hand as far as a water concerned. The molded clay from the kick wheel is moved to the kin, another indigenously created piece of DP pottery. The kin is used to fire the clay for a stronger output. The blocks used for it are also indigenous to DP Poultry as each carries their name on it for identification wherever it is taken to. Welcoming you into this world of art is a fascinating restaurant, the place called Moko Villa Garden, both a resort and a relaxing atmosphere. Inside the restaurant is an interior that is tasteful and locally exotic. It has a unique lightning design where the bulbs are hidden in the walls with all the lights emanating from one direction. The arts on the wall are well-worn and well-defined to give it a clean and elegant look. One striking thing about the walls is the paint. The paints used are all made by him and amazingly doesn't clean off even when water is applied. A dreamer is a madman. This is a wise saying by Mr. David Yerima himself. He hasn't fallen short of that as his works and talent appear not to make sense at first, but they in actual sense speak creativity 
talent and wisdom all at once. One fundamental thing we have come to learn from this wonderful man is the fact that we ought to believe in ourselves and in the gifts embedded in us. We do not need so much to be outstanding. We just have to recognize our gifts no matter how little and believe in it. Just a little idea that may seem insignificant could turn out to be a center of attraction to us. Ideas are matters, and indeed he has shown us that. Stop, keep